and this is Durga Prasad Akal want to share how we change primal simplex method into dual simplex method here I want to share only how we change the concept of primal problem into the duality form we are going to just change the format of questions from primal to duality so this is equations where maximum z is objective function 10x1 plus 15x2 plus 20x3 and the subjective constant are x1 plus x2 plus x3 less or equal to 40 in second equation inequalities this decision variable basically the x1 x2 and x3 are decision variable which are greater or equal to 180 and the third inequalities or the third equation is balance in these these are equal to each other these decision variables and this this constant 80 these are equal to each other now how we convert this um, problem this is problem from primal we said this is the the, the the given problem is primal problem okay p r i e m l primal now we are converting this prim primal into the duality ha here are some steps now let's take first step yes t e p step one in the first step we write this all equation in all equation or inequalities in the same format maximum maximum z is equal to 10 x1 plus 15 x2 plus 20 x3 is the objective function and subject to constraint they are x1 plus x2 plus x3 less or equal to 40 here the objective function is under the maximization and the constant is the constant 40 which is greater or equal to this decision variable the main important things we have to know about when we are changing primal to dual if the objective function is given in maximization then we must change the constant is greater or equal than this decision variable that's why the first inequalities is okay we don't need to change anything now here in second inequalities we can see here the objective function is maximization and the decision variable are greater or equal if the objective function is under the maximization we have to change this decision variable are less or equal or in another word we can say we have to change the constant in is greater form instead of this symbol we have to give this constraint over there so if 2 plus 3 is compared with 8 basically we say 8 is greater because of the result of this 2 plus 3 is 5 and which is less than 8 what happens when we multiply by minus both sides of the given inequalities then we'll get minus 5 less or equal to minus 8 is it okay is it correct no absolutely not because of minus 5 is greater than minus 8 so instead of that we can write here we can write there uh, minus 5 is greater than minus 8 
So how we change this constraint? We change this constraint by multiplying minus sign. Okay, the same idea we use here. Uh, in second inequalities, we have x two x one plus four x two plus six x three. So we're gonna multiply by minus into the both side. So we get mm, minus two x one minus minus four x two minus six x three lesser equal minus one hundred eighty. Now let's come into the third inequalities. The symbol is the constraint symbol is given here equal. So first we convert this equal symbol into two inequalities, one for greater or equal and another lesser equal. So the first inequalities for that one is x one plus two x two plus three x three. Lesser equal to eighty, and another one is x one plus two x two plus three x three greater or equal to eighty, and x one comma x two comma x three these all are greater or equal to zero. That means these all are decision variable or production quantities. They cannot be produced in negative form. That's why. The value of this all quantity is should be greater or equal to this zero. So now let's come into the second step. Into the second step, uh, we have to we have to convert the constraint, the last one constraint, which is here. uh okay yes this constraint okay cause of our objective function is here in under the maximization so our constraint is greater or equal greater or equal greater or equal but here is less or equal so we have to convert this first So in second step, step two, our maximum function is same. We do not change anything. Is the same ten x one plus fifteen x two plus twenty x three, and subject to constraint. Okay. Subject to constraint B, uh, x one plus two x two. Oh, sorry, mm, not two x two. Uh, x one plus here uh, only x two. X two. Plus x three less or equal to forty. Second one is minus two x one minus four x two minus six x three less or equal to minus one hundred eighty. And the third one is also okay. The decision variables are. Less are equal to this constant. That's why don't worry about that. We don't need to change that constraint. That is x one plus two x two plus three x three is less or equal to ha eighty. Oh, and the last one is we have to change. Yes, absolutely. Yes, this last inequality is. Where the decision variable is greater or equal, but we have under the maximization objective function, so we have to change this constraint by using the concepts of multiplying on both sides. So when we multiply both sides, then we get minus x one 
minus 2x2 minus 3x3 yep constraint change minus 80 however this all quantity is x1 comma x2 comma x3 these all are greater or equal to 0 now now okay yes i like green now what we do uh we have here how many inequalities for this one is we can say yes y1 for this two is y2 okay y3 okay y4 so i think we don't need this one so i can it is this is step first we don't need now oops uh. okay so we multiply this y1 we multiply this y1 multiply this y1 okay multiply this y1 with the coefficient of x1 coefficient of x1 multiply this y2 okay Let's use different color okay okay the coefficient of x1 is multiplied with coefficient of y2 yep uh, coefficient of y3 multiply with coefficient of x1 yep and the coefficient of y4 multiply coefficient of x1 now let's now let's do what things we have okay y1 before multiplying this if we have maximum function then we can we can first write minimum function okay minimum objective function is equal to what i don't know at this moment later on we discuss and put down over there at the beginning <coughs> now subject to constraint subject to constraint first let's start from subject to constraint in duality now this is in duality form y1 multiply with the coefficient of x1 is y1 y2 multiply with the coefficient of x1 is minus 2 y2 y3 is multiply with the coefficient of x1 is plus y1 in y4 is multiply with the coefficient of x1 is minus y4 and and the coefficient of constant coefficient of x1 is from the objective function is 10 so this is in dual we are in dual and here we have minimum what we did in maximization we just do opposite that is decision variables are greater or equal to that constant for the second one again we multiply this y1 with the coefficient of x2 
the coefficient of x2 is the coefficient of x2 is what 1 so y1 okay my uh, minus or plus minus 4 y2 okay plus 2 y3 minus 2 y4 uh, constant of x2 is 15 okay now we have another part x3 multiply this y1 with the coefficient of x3 is y1 and coefficient of x3 in second inequality is, is 6 that is in minus so minus 6 y2 and plus 3 y3 uh, minus uh, 3 y4 the constant of x3 is 20 is greater or equal to 20 please don't confuse that y1 y1 multiply with the coefficient of x1 coefficient of x2 coefficient of x3 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay and this way y2 is multiply with the coefficient of x1 coefficient of x2 in the same way so we have three equation over here now we use we use the constant from the objective function into the uh, constant in dual form this problem is converted into duality d u a l i t y duality okay this from primal problem is converted into duality so the minimum function is y1 into 40 that is 40 y1 y2 into 180 minus 180 that is minus 180 y2 and y3 multiply with 80 okay uh, that is plus 80 y3 and y4 multiply with this minus 80 minus 80 y4 so this is in form of minimum objective functions and again we have y1 comma y2 comma y3 comma y4 these all are greater or equal to zero yes this is the complete solutions for how we change primal into duality yes now we can start from the we can start to calculate simplex problem or simplex method from the duality sections